Still class four then for race number three. We're up to the extended mile, 16.50 the trip here for the third. With uh, 12 of them heading to post, headed by All You Know. Both him and Rule the Roost dropping back into class four company. Dream Warriors, the last art course and distance uh, winner. Gets a wide gate this time around. Thunder Stomp from Barrier Six. He'll roll forward. We've got Little Thunder going up in trip. Kambeki Molly up in class, the last art course and distance as well. Winner from the front and phenomenal. Uh, eligible for class five in actual fact. What goes with the light, light weight here was last, last time out. Rule the Roost, Dream Warriors, Oriental Elite have been up at uh, Chung Farm, along with Thunderstomp Playwise and the aforementioned Phenomenal. Speed here, uh, good to slow for this uh, race over the 16.15. Little Thunder is trying it for the, the first time. He normally races on pace or near the pace in his uh, 1,200 metre start, so here he is first time. Can Becky Molly led all the way last start. Uh, phenomenal there, hasn't shown much to date. Dream Warriors, if Phenomenal is in that position, he might find it uh, tough to get in. You've got All You Know, uh, who's on the inside there. He can race handy from time to time and back in the field. Thunderstomp, he actually led last start, did Thunderstomp. Rule the Roos is the horse uh, closest to us. He's been running well at the bottom of Class 3, on the surface, to be fair. Uh, but he does come back to Happy Valley, where he has won twice. So he looks well-placed uh, from bar his barrier number two, and his track works good. He's a fit horse now. This will be his fifth run this season. Best Alliance, another one that's going nicely. Uh, he's had plenty of runs this season as well. This will be his sixth. He's drawn awkward, but he's fit, and he does go nicely here, as you can see with this piece. Stretches out really well. And uh, Little Thunder, I thought it wasn't bad from this horse. Uh, he's got a good draw as well, barrier number three, so likely to go forward, and I thought he stre uh, stretched out quite well, so Little yeah. Thunder. Asked to do a little bit late there, wasn't he, Little Thunder? Yeah. Right, we'll start off here with, uh, with Rule the Roost. We are going back in time a little bit, though. Uh, as Paul mentioned, uh, his two wins have been here at Happy Valley, but the last one being over the 1,800 metres, that was in April. Yeah, he has won over 1,650 as well, but this was the 1,800 does come back to Happy Valley, he's been downgraded. His last win was off 59, he's now rated 60, so he's a similar rating. I made him a long shot a couple of times because I, I just thought he'd been running pretty well, and now he's come down uh, aboard, down in grade. Uh, Zach Purton will jump aboard as well. I think he's a big chance. He was true to line up on the, the all-weather last time out over 1,800 metres, but he, he got away going to the start, so mm. uh, that was him out of play. All right, gets barrier two here as well. Uh, Best Alliance gets a wide gate barrier 12, and the services of Lyle Hewitson. Lyle, best alliance for uh, Douglas White. You've been uh, aboard the last couple of runs. Um, you've been happy with how he's going? Yes, very happy. Um, of course, he, he ran a great race on the dirt, and um, then uh, we, we backed him up at, a, at Happy Valley, and he came from a deep draw to, to run a really strong and hit the line well, especially trying that sort of trip. So we opted to stay that trip, and uh, this race came, came into place um, pretty soon, so we, we thought we'd take it. And uh, I must say, everything at home has been really positive. And he's going to this race uh, as well as ever. So, yeah, look, it's, it's definitely difficult from the draw once again. Um, but he, he will give a bold showing uh, this time around. You mentioned the draw. It must give you some confidence that he has run well from a wide stall in the past. Yes, it does, you know. And um, I think, uh, obviously, going this sort of trip, if you know, the main thing with him is having him settled and the fact that he quickens. So um, as long as the race unfolds nicely, uh, you can, can sort of make it up. Um, however, you know, you would always want things a bit easier, but uh, he does have the ability in this sort of class. You rode to him on a, a gallop on Sunday morning. Were you happy with how he went there? Yeah, um, from his lead-up races, um, probably going into this race is the, the best I've felt him. Um, his preparation has been good, um, and of course, uh, Dougie's a master so far. He's, he's been showing what he can do, so the horse is in great shape, and uh, there's no excuses on, on his well-being. All right, that's Best Alliance, Lyle Hewitt's in, uh, in the cell. It's our early favourite, in actual fact. Uh, more winning form to have a look at here in the shape of Dream Warriors. Thunder Stomp, who rolled forward this occasion, and uh, Lightning Seed, who had the, a really tough run. So I think his first try at the 16.50, you just ignore it. Yeah, the concern with Dream Warriors here is he, he's just got that wide stall of gate number 11, and if he can't get in, he's uh, destined for a, a tough run. This was on IJC night. Karras's winner uh, over Thunder Stomp here, who was right there. Um, he threw everything bar the kitchen sink at him late and uh, just survived over Murray's partners. But I left him out. It was the draw that was the worry. Yeah, look, I haven't got him in either, exactly for that same reason. So, no, he's not. A, he doesn't go in for me. All right, so wide open market, though, Paul, with best alliance as the favourite. Yeah, I'm going to stick with Rule the Roost. I sort of liked him at the bottom of Class 3. He's now to Class 4. Best alliance is in the right grade. He just can't get that draw, unfortunately, but he's going well. Uh, Thunderstomp, so well rated. He's won off 74 last start. Uh, he's now down to rating of 58. And he did run third. It was a good run from him and Little Thunder in there for fourth. Off his track work. 2, 3, 6, 8. 
Looking to shop for a bit of value in this race, I thought it was tough and uh, I've gone with Oriental Elite in the end. Uh, he had a bit of a false start to his uh, season because he got late scratch at the start because he was lame and then last time out he, he ran a decent race for fourth behind uh, Amazing Star Margin on that occasion was big because the winner uh, cleared out but he has won second up in the past and he's at 24 to 1 at the moment. Best Alliance goes in, rule the roost and don't mind all you know back in grade here as well. So 5, 3, 2 and 1. Yeah, I thought the action probably towards the, uh, the top here, 1, 2 and 3. Um, Dream Warriors shouldn't be too far away either, but the one and the two, my cue there in race number three.